just arrived in Granada and I'm staying here for two days, one night. And this is the first time I'm in Granada. I'm very excited to explore the city. But uh, I can't check in yet in my uh, apartment. So I have to wait till 3 o'clock. It's now 12 o'clock. So it's a bit shit. But yeah. dropped our bag somewhere um, just in a locker room and the woman who worked there gave us some recommendations and also uh, for good coffee it said like yeah I love coffee and I also like coffee so it said that here La Jungla is the best coffee in town so I don't know we bought it but um, it, is, it is good but not the best but for Spanish coffee, yeah, it's good because Spanish coffee sucks. And it's also very cheap. I paid 180 for a cappuccino, so that's not bad. self check in so also couldn't uh, check in earlier because sometimes the room is already ready but because it's self check in that was not possible so I'm finally in the room um, it's very nice it's like a small studio and I'm gonna show it to the entrance and then you have the bed here closet and then uh, table kitchen and here you have a balcony and then the living room very cute love it there's a bathroom and this is another balcony very cute and you're in the middle of the center very nice and the name is um, Libere Libere this Libere Granada Cathedral and you also have it in other um, in other cities so that's nice uh, but I'm gonna change now clothes and maybe shower and wash my hair because that's what I actually wanted to do when I arrived in Granada, but I forgot that I couldn't check in yet, so I'm gonna do that and then I'm going to um, Alhambra, the famous palace. So, that's so I showered and changed, and now um, I'm waiting for the bus to go to Alhambra. I'm inside, and it's it looks very quiet, also with the queue. queue. Because I expected it to be very busy, especially on Sunday. But it's not. And uh, you just have to scan your passport. Because I bought tickets online, so... Just scan your passport and then you're in. And uh, a ticket was 14 euros. And I just booked it on the website from Alhambra. So... Now let's explore.
because if there was no web uh, in European languages. I think we're already here two hours and we just went to the Naza, Nazir, Nazir Palace? Nazi, Nazi Palace? I don't know. Um, but you have to book um, a time frame for that. Uh, so we booked at six and I think we did. It took us one hour to see everything. So make sure that you have time for that because you can only uh, go there if you book a time so. So many people. I thought I wasn't the only one with this idea. <laughs> so I didn't end the vlog yesterday because I was so tired. Um, and also, I think I didn't tell you about the Alhambra and how it was. Um, but yeah, sorry, I'm so tired still. But Alhambra was very nice, very pretty, and very big. I think you need around like three or four hours to see everything. Um, so make sure you have that. Um, you also need to book tickets for the Na Nazrit Palace in advance, like you have to book a time. Uh, a time to get there and I would recommend to do that first in your visit so if you go at 5 just book a time at like 5.15 or 5.30 and then after that you can visit the rest because I did it in the middle of my visit and it wasn't really good range so I would recommend that and what else? We I went at like 5.30 there and it was not very busy. I expected it to be very busy and crowded but it wasn't and it was, also, it was still hot though at that time so it was not the best. Um, but yeah. I have to check out now. So breakfast. <laughs> My god, it's so hot, I'm dying. And now I'm in the neighborhood Alcazabin, Alcaz Alcazain, or something. It's the Arabic neighborhood, it's all white houses and stuff. But it's on a mountain, so it's very hard <laughs> to climb. I'm dying. So I forgot to end the vlog, but I'm back home in Malaga um, after uh, a one and a half hour in the bus, I think. Uh, I also changed my bus ticket to one bus earlier because I first had a bus at 8 o'clock, but I don't know, there was not much to do and it was so hot there. <sighs> I was literally dying. I swear, if you want to go to Granada, don't go in the summer because it's just too hot. And I already knew it, but yeah, I wanted to go now because 
Now I live in Spain and now I live like near Canada, so I wanted to go now and not go back for just Canada. So yeah, so I changed my ticket to six o'clock. Um, but Granada was nice. Um, I think you can you can also see it in one day. For the Alhambra, you really need like three or four hours. That's like the main thing there. And I would also recommend to go to the Arabic streets because that's very nice to see. Um, but to be honest, I liked Sevilla way more. It's so much prettier there and people said that it's not similar to Sevilla or like not the same um, but I don't know because in Sevilla you have uh, also sort of Alhambra it's called Real Alcazar and people said that that's very different from of uh, yeah that that's different from each other but for me it was pretty much the same <laughs> Uh, it's just both a palace with big gardens. Um, the one in Sevilla is... No, the Alhambra in Granada is way bigger though. And I would say that the palace was more beautiful than Sevilla. But in Sevilla the gardens were prettier. And it was smaller so... Yeah, I think I, I saw that in like one hour. So, I don't know. I prefer Sevilla. But it was nice to see it. So for a day trip it's nice to go there. So that was my Granada vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'm very tired. <laughs> so I'm gonna end the vlog and I hope to see you in my next vlog. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more travel vlogs. So see you next time. Bye.